If you are watching this video, that means that you have not yet subscribed to Gimpy. If you haven't subscribed it is advised you lock your doors and windows. He will find you, he will find you, you will find you, you will find Welcome to another BANGER! Tell him to bring me my money. So, most of you know about the Gojo rework in a universal time, and how the developers really cooked hard with it. And honestly, the Gojo rework is really sick, but I was wondering if it was better than Sakura stands Gojo. So that's why I am here today to find out. In today's video, we are going to be comparing both of these Gojos based on their animations and visuals. We are not going to take into account anything else, like drama about the updates these games get or anything. It's just about Gojo. So anyway, I was thinking, we start off with a nice showcase of both of the Gojos, then analyze and see which one looks and feels better. Subscribe for a free cupcake? In my opinion, Sakura Stands has a great Gojo, but I feel like a lot of people hype it up too much, since to me some of the animations seem rigid. Something that Sakura Stands has that a universal time doesn't have is the healing moves Gojo has. I've also noticed that Sakura Stand has more faithful canon adaptations of moves used by Gojo than what a universal time has. It feels more cinematic, too. The domain isn't on aught level, sadly. It is pretty outdated since it's old, but it doesn't live up to a Universal Times domain. A Universal Time also doesn't have this mood, which reinforces my point that Sakura Stands is a lot more canon. A Universal Time also doesn't have the same type of cinematics, and they also only have one hollow purple, rather than two, like how Sakura Stand has... And this move is something a Universal Time should have had, but Sakura Stan just does better.
gonna be using my old showcase for this because the seven move cap is so annoying to showcase stuff with, so you can skip this if you want, or stay for my amazing mind-boggling commentary. These two moves are what I forgot to showcase in the original showcase, by the way. A universal time seems to have a lot more variety when it comes to blue and red, and it seems like Gojo was built for PvP. And as always, the VFX that a universal time put into Gojo does not disappoint. One of the best visuals I've seen on a Gojo in Robux. I noticed that the animations for a universal time's Gojo are a lot more bouncy and fluid looking than in Sakura Stand. They also feel a lot smoother and cleaner. The camera angles and the animation is just a tad bit better than Sakura stands, in my opinion. This Gojo also has finishers which Sakura stand doesn't have, so that's something unique about a Universal Times Gojo. I actually don't know where this move came from, actually. That domain expansion must be one of the best I've seen on Roblox. Other than Heroes Battlegrounds, this domain was extravagant. For Hollow Purple, there's only one variant unlike Sakura Stand, but it changes if you have the honored one skin equipped. The VFX for Hollow Purple are super realistic and actually look like they came right out from the anime itself, surpassing Sakura Stan's VFX. The Honored One skin also has a quote animation that is probably the closest we get to an awakening animation in a universal time. But anyway, now that we've seen both Gojo's and their moves, it's time I announce the winner. As much as I think Sakura Stan has good VFX, a universal time blows it out of the water with theirs. And when it comes to animation, a universal time's animation seems to be a lot more smoother in every aspect. A universal time wins in animation and visuals for sure, but when it actually comes to the cinematics of the moves, and how faithful they are to the anime and manga. Sakura stand wins, but overall, in my opinion, a universal time has the better Gojo overall. It was a really close one, and both games really cooked hard. But honestly, if a universal time added an awakening to Gojo, they would have won in a landslide.